All right, guys, we're gonna talk about how to place on Invisalign attachments, and we have beautiful Jennifer. Hi. She's allowed us to video her case so we can all learn. And I'm gonna show the setup here. Melissa has everything set up. Here's her attachment set up. She's getting everything out. There's the uh, G Premio Bond. This is just normal pumice that comes out of our big pumice bucket. Never use Profi paste. She's gonna wet that with her Brassler Profi head and some uh, cotton rolls for isolation and paper points. You ready to rock, Hi. Melissa? I'm ready. All right. Are you ready, Jen? Yeah. All right. <laughs> is going to try in the upper aligner and when your light is on there you can't see no actually it settles okay light down that looks good Right. Make sure if you have an overhead light, you turn the filter light on because you don't want this to set up early. You'll see she's loading the tray, full, filling it all the way up, being careful not to overfill the tray. Nice steady hands, you didn't have too much coffee today. Nope. Only one Dr. Pepper. This is Texas, so Dr. Pepper is... 23 flavors. <laughs> not recommended, not dentist recommended. And we're using uh, Tetric Evo Flow, the transparent. We love transparent because it makes these attachments invisible. Patients don't love having attachments on their teeth, and so we can minimize them, make them transparent, it really helps. All right, so that's a preloaded upper aligner. She's covering it up underneath the, uh, this is a sterile pouch for now, so light in the room doesn't set it up. Teeth are pumice. She's going to use Voco. It's a self-etched adhesive. It's called Futura Upon You. There's several other self-etched adhesives on the market that will work really nicely. If you have a uh, two-step and etch and bond, those work really well, but you have to be really careful with the primer and the water. If you're doing it by yourself, it can be tough. So she's going to dry the teeth really well. She has her orange filter light on. Come around here and get a better one. thin coat on every tooth. She knows which teeth need attachments. She's been studying the ClinCheck and looked at the attachment template. The next step is really important. You have to push the bond into the tubule to clean teeth with a lot of air. Make sure there's no water in your line. I recommend 10 seconds of air, solid air on every tooth. Okay, for me. Perfect. And then she's going to do a brief little tack here. So there's our curing light. Just brief, just a little tack, get that bond a little gummy. And then she's going to seat her pre filled aligner and she'll have the patient. Patient will bite, bite down, down on their back teeth and Perfect. squeeze. And then she's going to do her final cure. Right light coming in. 
And we'll take this one out, and that will be it for the video. We'll just do one arch. Okay. It's already at three minutes. You're going to get bored watching this. <laughs> You're going to get the point. And I can, like, do the fast motion through this part. Yeah. <laughs> that lateral is super important. Mm -hmm. Is it seated all the way on there? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it looks great. Well, we got to do the big reveal. Yep. If they're not all on, and we can't use this arch, and we'll the bottom arch. <laughs> I was going to say, I know, I forgot that. Because I'm used to not having to cure the bond. That's right. She usually does the two-step way. I'm trying to uh, simplify this for the, the newbie mm -hmm. assistants out there. All right. Da, 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 da. Let's turn your filter on so we get oh, yeah. natural light. So they're coming off. Perfection, like always. Do you want to show her teeth off here yep. so we can see all the attachments? Right. I still got to clean up. A little bit of extra flash right there. there. Do you want to show how you clean the flash off? Yep. So I just use a scaler. Go ahead and open for me. I start at the occlusal. A little sickle scaler. Remove the occlusal off. And then I just go around. Awesome, and Dennis, make sure that you always check this when you seat the first aligner and remove flash. This is very important as well. And now make sure you don't Floss close the contacts. Floss, sometimes bond gets in between there. Floss between every contact. And Jennifer, your teeth aren't gonna feel the same for about six months. No closed contacts. Beautiful. Good work. Thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you for that. I've been trying to find somebody for weeks. To really? Mm -hmm. 